You have no family. You have no friends. You were abused until you gave yourself to me. Now you have a purpose, and it is noble. I'm doing everything different this time. She's your field agent. Do what you think's best. I have to be sure. If she's able to make contact with the target, what are her directives then? Neutralize the target. Mr. President, we have a situation unfolding in real time. Are you close? Closer than we've ever been. You're up for playing outside the lines. Ready to do my job, ma'am. If your cover is blown, there is no saving you. You have to save yourself. Do it quiet, and you do it clean. Be careful poking that bear, or the target will be on you. I said he's embedded. The mission is launched. We can't stop it now. No one finds out, it'll end up in the news. Did you hit the target? I'm not treated for this. This is our mess. We clean it up. How do we shut this down? I need you to understand the risks. I understand the risks. Hi, I'm Jurgen Sosa here with The Extra Mile and Laisla de Oliveira, star of the new Paramount Plus original series, Special Ops Lioness. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be talking to you today. Yeah, me too, me too. Did you have fun at the premiere last night? I had a lot of fun at the premiere last night. A full circle I... moment for you, eh? It was so full circle and the fact that I got to celebrate it with my family and friends, I, I couldn't have asked for anything more special. I've been yeah, waiting for this thing to come out. Of course. <laughs> well, I loved it. I thought it was so, so amazing. I watched it again this morning. You like, did? Thank it was so, you. so good. Thank so, you. So good. <laughs> You've played Key Hunting Demon on Lock and Key, Metal Melting Power Possessor in Code 8, Light Manipulating Mutant in Gifted, Lost Pregnant Lady in The yeah. Tall Grass. <laughs> and just a few words, how would you describe your character Cruz in Special Ops Lioness? Cruz is a fighter. That's one word to describe Cruz. She's somebody who is leaving, you know, trying to get out of it. She's domestically abused. She's trying to get out of that life. She's trying to find purpose. She joins the Marines and she, she finds her place. She's good at it. And then she gets recruited by Joe, who's Zoe Saldana's character, to become a lioness. And, and she goes on this incredibly physically and emotionally demanding journey. She's amazing. She's inspirational. I loved her. I loved her so much. I'm so excited to see more of her. Oh. Now, I feel like at this point you're a seasoned professional in the sci-fi fantasy genre. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this is the first role you've taken on in like, the world of war and spies and international espionage. Were there any challenges going into this sort of genre from an acting perspective besides the physical? Yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously a lot more emotionally um, challenging, but it also is incredibly artistically fulfilling in a in a different way what i like about sci-fi is you really see everything come together at the end you know whether it's you're grabbing a tennis ball and then they like insert i don't know a car there or something <laughs> but with something like this it's just so raw and gritty and real that you really you really do have to go into a heavier place and so it becomes a game of endurance, and this was a really big lesson for me. How am I going to be able to endure this emotionally? You know, because you're shooting for, we shot for seven months. Um, but I felt so incredibly lucky that I could watch the greats. So anytime I had a question, I was like, what are they doing? Masterclass in the moment. Yeah, it was masterclass for real. <laughs> now, our blog at The Extra Mile is all about going the extra mile, you know, going above and beyond in anything that we do, anything that we cover. I wanted to ask you if there's anything that you do, whether it's in your acting approach to a project or just in your various aspects of life that you do to go the extra mile. For myself, I think what really helps me is, this is gonna sound, but it's true, like when you can meditate, and whether is that's you know taking time with your eyes shut in the morning or 
putting a song that really inspires you and closing your eyes and just like feeling that or going on a on a on a hike just spending that quiet time with yourself I think is so important and it I think it helps in your daily life and it definitely helps me in my work life and then I've also started doing like the ice baths on your face no <laughs> in the morning yeah it's actually great noted <laughs> but it's it's tricky but I'm, I'm doing it <laughs> and now you had the pleasure of working with one of the biggest writer showrunners that's working right now Taylor Sheridan I was just curious if there was anything any particular moment or breakthrough in this process from start to finish where the original idea or the original script changed based on your collaboration with him? When he chose me to play this part, there were only two episodes written and he's just, he's really good. I think he likes to cast his people first and then he kind of writes to the person. And so it was really just a really, big treat every time a script came in and he sends them. It was like personal wow. for you. He's like, here you go. And you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You know, it's very exciting. Do you feel like there are pieces of crews that are still in you even after rapping? Definitely. It, it took a little bit to, I don't want to say get rid of because any character you do, she, they live in you. But this moment is really great when I get to put on the sparkly outfit and celebrate her because she goes through such a challenging journey. So I'm really excited to be in a moment where I can celebrate Cruz versus go through her journey because it's, <laughs> it's a little bit heavy. And do you feel like this project pushed you farther than you have ever been? Yeah, I would say that's 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 a, a true statement. It uh, was so incredibly artistically fulfilling and I, I loved being pushed to that level. Totally. Well, I think people will be very excited to see that work then. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate you. it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me here and sitting with you. It's been an amazing time. So. Thank you. Good. Thank you so much. Oh, so lovely to meet you. Yeah. I'm so happy.